So you want to know how many free pulls you can get in weather and waves through standard gameplay. Thanks to the amazing work by I am Rivenous for finding and putting together data, we can tell you a rough estimate on how many free pulls we can actually get. Please make sure to show him some love over onto his channel because I can't imagine how long this must have taken him. And I can see he's put a lot of time and effort into it. So just a reminder, this is all information based on the beta of the game. So there is a chance that it can change on the release of the game. So now as we start talking about numbers and the data, you have to keep in mind one pull is equal to 160 asteroids. As soon as you log into the game, we will be met with the pre-registration rewards. This is assuming that we hit the 30 million requirement before the release. It is currently at 200 asteroids and 20 pulls. If you haven't pre-registered, make sure you do so you can get these rewards in your account. There will be several events that will give us rewards. A login event called Gifts of Thorning Frost. After logging in for seven days, you will receive eight standard banner pulls and a free four star salon on day five. The second event will be Awakening Journey. This will result in giving you 1600 Astro and 40 standard pools. You will get the rewards once you've hit Union Rank 5, 15, 25, 35, and 45. Tied to your Union Rank, you will receive supply packs once hitting various milestones. In total, you will receive 10 standard pools up to Rank 30, and 15 event banner pools when reaching Rank 80. Now, hitting Rank 80 will be no easy task, and you shouldn't expect to hit it anytime soon. There is going to be some sort of parkour event that is going to be happening on the release, and this grant you 300 asteroid. There is also an event called Overdash Club that I've seen in the beta. Not 100% sure if it is just an event for the beta or this could also be the event that we're going on about the parkour event. So if that's correct, you'll be getting 360 asteroid from this instead of the original 300. Doing your daily task once the handbook is unlocked through the story, you will be rewarded with 60 asteroid per day or around 1800 per month. That's assuming you do all the tasks every single day. If you decide to purchase the daily to login subscription, which you can get from purchasing the Lunite Pass, you will receive 300 asteroid across 30 days. There will be two character trials on the release. Upon doing both trials, you will receive 40 asteroid. In the CBT, there was a mention of a share reward, and this will give you 100 asteroid. It's currently unknown on what we will be sharing, but if I had to guess, it would probably be a frame code, or along the lines of that. Various chests out in the world will give you a wood grain fragment. You'll be able to exchange six of these at a time for a total of five standard pools to specific vendors out in the major city. There are currently around 1,380 chests, puzzles, heritages, beacons, residence and nexus, and other goods you can find throughout your time exploring the world. Not everything has currently been found, but for the ones that have been, which is just under 800, you will receive 5,509 asteroid. If the numbers are correct, then this will probably be substantially higher once we have learned more about the world and have explored it in greater detail. Whilst you're exploring, you may unlock some achievements. There are currently 211 of them. These can come in different levels of difficulty, which will give you a different amount of asteroid. A total of 1,835 asteroid can be claimed upon completing all of them. You will also gain another 550 once you have covered the entire map from the Pioneer Association who can be located inside of the major city. When playing through the game, you will want to make sure you are collecting all of the different herbs and ores. This will help you get your cooking and synthesis levels to max, which in doing so will give you 200 asteroid each for a total of 400. The free battle pass once completed will grant you 5 standard pools. Paid battle pass on top of the standard pools will give you an additional 7 standard pools, 5 of them mana pools and 680 asteroid. Delivering all Sonance caskets to the Relic Merchant Chempy will reward you a total of 650 total asteroid. Sonance caskets are the glowing yellow cubes that can be found hidden out in the world. The Depths of Illusion Realms Season 1 is the roguelike mode that is similar to the simulated universe in Arcastarial. You will get 585 asteroid from completing all difficulties and achievements. The rewards for this will reset on a monthly basis. When clearing the Tower of Adversity, it will net you 3,350 asteroid. This will definitely be a strong feat though for most players, as the high end levels are quite difficult. In your data bank, you will receive 920 asteroid when reaching terminal level 20. You will receive 40 every level. This is tied to your echoes. So to level up your terminal, you will need 
to collect more and more echoes and level up their rarities. Drifting Inscription will be a permanent event that will make players advance through the main story and give you special specific missions to complete in the guidebook. You will receive 480 Ashtrite when you've completed it. Killing all the monsters and bosses once and various training stages throughout the game will grant you a total of 450 Ashtrite. There are 16 different holograms that you will come across in the game. They each will have 6 different difficulties and upon completing them you will receive 20 Ashtrite per difficulty done which will give you a total of 920. This also includes your first world boss clears. Finally you have your quests. Doing all of the main quests you will receive a total of 800 Ashtrite. When completing all the other quests including exploration, tutorial, daily, companion and side quests you will be rewarded 1660 Ashtrite for a combined total of 2460 when completing every quest in the game. Now I know this must have been a lot to take in, trust me it took a, me a while to process everything upon looking at this data, but when we add all of the numbers for the amount of pools, players will be getting 90 standard pools, 20 event banner pools and 22,829 asteroid. To simplify for you, the total number of pools for a completely free to play player is 241, the total pools with the battle pass is 252 and the total pools with the battle pass plus the daily login subscription is 271. Now keep in mind this will definitely take a lot of grinding to do. You may even struggle with the end game content and that is a lot of Astrite that is locked behind the hardcore aspects of the game. Altogether I think this is very generous of Crow as this is a lot of pools we are getting for free and that's just from the base game. Once again I want to give a huge shout out to I Am Rivenous for putting all of the data together. The link to his YouTube channel will be in the description below and if you want to look at the data yourself you can find the link in that as well. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Make sure to follow me over on my Twitch as I will be streaming all day and all night on the release of the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one.